we all got these crazy stories about what our families do. Yeah. I was very mortified Ooh. to hear one of your family traditions that has something to do with a baby head. Oh, yes. Again, one of the more th things I'm more proud of. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we, the first house that we lived in, we took, there was a bunch of ivy in the front, and when we tore out the ivy, I mean, if ivy is there for 60 years, you're gonna find some weird stuff. And we found like old little jars and the little car and this, and we found this doll's head, a plastic doll's head, covered in dirt, it had just one eye, there's rat nom marks on it, so obviously we washed it out and made it a beloved part of our family. Um, <laughs> We call it creepy baby head, and we just hide it around places. Like we, <laughs> like you'll find it in your, uh, like under, in between your pillow and your pillowcase, or like in your, in your underwear drawer, or like, you know, you just like whoever has it then has to hide it in someone else's stuff. And I'm, if the kids, if they play their cards right, one of them's getting it like the, when they go off to college, but they have to earn that trust. <laughs> you know, because if, I am not gonna like have somebody at some frat party be like, look what my mom sent me, and then lose it. It's not okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's, like, it's very terrifying because you really can see like the rat, like the marks on the teeth from the holes in the head. Has yeah. anyone ever gotten genuinely terrified by finding it somewhere? Well, then they should leave my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately for all of you, we have a picture of this creepy oh. baby head. Oh. So my daughter wrote this note probably when she was eight. And it's like, hello, I am creepy baby head. I want to kill you. But then she didn't know that you did that you could sign notes not with love. So then it says, love, creepy baby head. I love the your brains. Your brains. I will, I will eat, eat this. this. Yeah. Creepy baby head. But she's kind of cute. That is the creepiest baby head. Uh -huh. Literally. Yeah. I'm gonna have Thank to you. change this to a more positive subject so I don't have nightmares right now. Joe, I'm gonna have to refer to my card for this because you are doing so many things. I just wanna get this right, okay? You've been so busy. You have a Netflix special coming in hot, streaming on Netflix, right? You're currently on your, I'm not even done. You're currently on your sold out world tour title. Just kidding. And on top of all of that, you're working on your book, Mixed Plate, which is your first book, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. So how was it writing your first book? Um, one, I didn't know I had that many stories. So, because uh, they told me how many chapters it had to be, and I was like, oh, I can do that. And then I signed it, and I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I was like, I'll just fill the pages with uh, pictures. You know what I mean? And, uh, but uh, I, I ended up having a lot of stories, and it came out really, really well. And I got really emotional writing it, so I was like, I was happy to do it. You both are part of so many amazing, incredible projects. I mean, you alone, I just named three. But there's another yes. project you shot, which is yes. Bill and Ted Face the Music. Yes. And yeah. <laughs> spoiler alert, y'all. Spoiler alert. Your character is actually married to the one, the only, Keanu Reeves. No big deal. No so, big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a really big deal. I know. <laughs> what is it like shooting with someone and working with someone that so many people in the world are obsessed with? It was crazy, you know, and we're in New Orleans shooting and we're just on set and it's a million degrees. I don't think anybody should live in New Orleans in the summer. It's like a punishment <laughs> for humans, um, you know, and then we're like actors in these little tents and you're trying to stay cool. And then what we all do, all of us actors and, and, and humans, you know, like you get a down moment and you chat a bit and then you take out your phone mm -hmm. and you scroll through some stuff and you do all your likes. Um, <laughs> and, you know, like, do, and then you chat and then you snack and you do. And he doesn't do that. Like, he's just... Keanu like, doesn't do that. He doesn't. Like, I didn't see him scroll through his phone once. Like, he just is like, present. I'm like, what is happening? And, um, <laughs> it was unnerving and, and very nice and kind. And, you know, I do believe all the stories because he's just like, there to be, man. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> that, I was like oh, that's very inspiring. And I'm going to try that after I look at Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I actually yeah. deal with this a lot as well. You're around so many people, and I wish I was better at disconnecting. I actually. Got your yeah. little gift because what? it has really worked for me. This has helped yeah. me disconnect yeah. and all the helping people on a little label. Is really it sing. a slap? So this is, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. It'll help you zen out. It helped me a lot. Um, and just disconnect and I hope it helps you on set. That's it. What hold is on, it? Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's from both of us. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my if I, God. It's like the greatest thing that's ever, ever happened. <laughs>